Hello. I would like to welcome James Burke to my web series. James Burke is a science historian, author, television producer, and a futurist. He has written for Scientific American, New Scientist, Vogue, Time Magazine, and the Encyclopedia Britannica online. He has created and presented many television shows for the BBC, including the major television series Connections and The Day the Universe Changed. James Burke has lectured to audiences worldwide, including at the Smithsonian, MIT, NASA, IBM, Microsoft, the European Parliament, and the U.S. National Security Agency. He is currently in the process of developing a new connection series about our future. How did you get into television? <laughs> well, the nice thing about the world, I always think, is the way things happen unexpectedly. Um, I was in living in Italy at the time. I left Oxford and went to teach in Italy. And in the second half of my period in Italy, I was living in Rome and I was getting a bit bored with the teaching. Either I was becoming boring or the students were, but I was looking for something else to do. And I was already starting to do interpreting and translating because it was a quick way to make some money. And I was with a journalist pal on a bus one day and he said, there's an English television company looking for a reporter. Why don't you go see them? And I said, I don't know how to do that. And he said, well, they don't know, you don't know. And I said, well, they'll soon find out. And he said, well, what are they gonna do except fire you? So as a kind of joke, I said, if the bus stopped at the next stop, I'll call and make an appointment. It did, I did, I got the job. And they said, we want you to go to Sicily tomorrow with a film crew and make a film about the mafia. And I said, no. <laughs> I'll go to Sicily with a film crew and make a film how you, about how you cannot make a film about the mafia. And they said, that's a good idea. And we went and sure enough, I mean, you cannot make a film about the mafia because everybody in Sicily says it doesn't exist. So we went around interviewing people by the hundreds and every one of them said, what are you talking about? Wait, what? Some people turned up with a sore throat and couldn't do interviews, sore throat. Anyway, we sent the film back to London, won a prize. So the BBC contacted me and said, we see you're doing work in Italy. We need a man to do a science program. Uh, maybe only one program, but you need to speak fluent Italian. And I said, I do. So I found myself working for a show called Tomorrow's World on the BBC. And the first show I did for them was, why does the Leaning Tower of Pisa not fall over? <laughs> and, 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 and they said, yeah, OK, come back to England. We'll give you a job. So I did. So it happened by accident. And it, science was an accident too, because my, my degree was in medieval English. But it really doesn't matter. In universities, not to teach you st stuff, but to teach you how to think. And so they said, well, we're, the science department is looking for people and we'd like you to join us. And I said, I'm not a scientist. And they said, good. We reckon that, you know, we're going to get humanities graduates to do our science programs because if they understand the stuff anybody will and that was true I mean I've many time and time again I'd be saying to some professor of physics look I'm sorry but my degree's in English could we say this again <laughs> you'd say all right you know and sometimes you'd show a script to one of them and they'd say this is terrible it's factually correct but I would never say it like that so it's okay so that's how I got into science I don't think I ever met one scientist in the BBC science department. They, they, all the scientists were doing art programs and stuff, you know. So that's how I got into it.